We believe every business, every business, every business, every business needs marketing, and we are here to make it simple. Genie Rocket is the all-in-one marketing tool with a unified inbox, landing page and website builder, calendar integration, email and SMS campaign capabilities, unlimited contacts, marketing automations, social media scheduler, unlimited sales pipelines, and so much more. At the end of the day, a tool is a tool. And there are thousands of tools out there that you can use to help you reach your goals. But that's exactly it. It's how you use them. And without the right coaching, you really don't know how to use them. So that's why we're here. Our team of experts is here to coach you and guide you so that you can hit your marketing goals and ultimately your business goals. Our network of small business owners is designed to keep you connected and engaged with your fellow entrepreneurs. Genie Rocket is for solopreneurs, it's for small business owners, it's for marketing teams, it's really anyone that has a product or service to sell that you wanna get better at marketing. So we have people in our community that are part of bigger teams and they're, they're the marketing director or they're the marketing manager. We also have small business owners in here that wanna learn it themselves and do it themselves. And then we have individuals that are just starting out as solopreneurs so they can be equipped with everything that they need in the awesome community with all the tools so they can get the results that they desire. With our community, you have the ability to learn and grow in marketing together. As you can see, there's a lot that makes us different here at Genie Rocket. One of our favorite things is our Be a Marketer workshop. The first Friday of every month at 2 p.m. Central, we have a BAM Be a Marketer workshop, online or in person. It is a free marketing workshop that we do the first Friday of every month at 2 p.m. Central. BAM Be a Marketer. And I can't wait to see you there. Hey guys, we're gonna go ahead and get started. Thank you all for being here. You're in the, the house of Genie Rocket, so some of you have been here before. If not, welcome, so glad that you're here. Feel free to make yourself at home. We have bathrooms right around the corner. Um, Juice Junkies right down the street was gracious enough to bring some samples. Each of those bottles is worth about 10 bucks, uh, so make sure you take advantage of some of those, but lots of cool organic drinks and snacks over there. And then I think we might be getting some more, something yeah. for the, okay. But in a second, this is our a, a new little espresso machine. Apparently, you can do like hot chocolate with a shot of espresso in it, which I'm really excited to try. Um, but you guys feel free to help yourself over there. Uh, today, we're going to be talking about AI. So who's excited? Who, who is actually using AI right now, whether for like personal or professional, trying it out? Yeah. How many of you guys have used chatbot GPT before? Yep. It's pretty crazy, right? Just a few months ago, like no one even hardly knew it existed. And now I feel like everyone is using it for almost everything. And you can't even really get on the internet without hearing someone talking about AI and chatbot GPT and how it's gonna take over the world. Um, so today what we're gonna do is talk specifically about AI in marketing. Because how many of you guys wanna make more money in your business? No, yeah, yeah, everybody, right? So I'm gonna show you some, some ways that you can leverage just some smart automations just to help you obviously save more time but also make a little more money in your business. You guys okay with that? Yeah. Cool. Okay, so what we're gonna do real fast here and we've got um, a full room so we'll be quick. I wanna, I wanna hear everyone that's in the room and I want you guys to be able to know each other. And for those of you joining online, if you can just throw up in chat where you're joining from and say hello in chat. And so let's just go around the room and this, this little microphone right here you actually have to talk into like this. If you can just say um, your name and what business you're with, we'll just kind of go through real quick here. So let me unmute this. And we'll have you kick us off. The push button or no? Uh, nope, just yeah. talk into the top right uh, there. Brian Smith, Fort Worth, Texas, Helm Smith Marketing Group. And I'm the Helms and Helm Smith Marketing Group, Denny Helms. I'm Ed Swiatoka and I live around the block in the yard house. And I work over there at Bear Creek Running Company, and it takes me about three three minutes to get to work. Yes. And I'm from New York. Would and you if, if, take if, if, you need, if you need good shoes, go see him. Katie Wallace with Katie Wallace Studios. Tina Karen with Tina Karen Portraits and Fine Art. Nicole Seralta, Certified Tech Solutions. 
most LA with uh, direct primary care. Keisha King Brown with loyalty centric. Anna DeLeon, New Age Real Estate. Richard Crow, Profit Solutions Bookkeeping. Ryman Peters, Modern Acupuncture Alliance Town Center. I'm Madison. I work at Genie Rocket. <laughs> <laughs> Marshall Lear with Rockbox Fitness. Elena Swindle with the Powerhouse. Gavin Pettigrew. I'm with uh, Java Time, Automated Espresso Machines. Awesome. Welcome, guys. Welcome. I'm glad you're here. Espresso machine ready to go? Cool. So, hey, if you guys want some coffee, um, Gavin so graciously brought this in here, and he, he sets these up for businesses. So if you guys want to test it out, um, get some espresso or hot chocolate or latte or whatever you want, you can help yourself. All right. So if you guys have not joined our community yet, we do have an online community in a group called School. It's kind of like Facebook, but you don't get all the annoying ads. And so we post up all of our replays from here, or if you want to catch kind of what's going on in marketing, um, I'm going to leave this up for a little bit. You can just... Take a picture of this, grab the QR code, and join our school group. And over here, I'll kind of move on the side. We're going to be talking about AI to superpower your business. Um, if you guys listen to podcasts, I also have a podcast, and I cover a lot of things with marketing. My recent one's about AI, too. So if you guys are podcast listeners, add me to your podcast <laughs> uh, library and would love to hear your thoughts and maybe even interview you. Um, okay, so with AI, this is the new digital frontier. Everything is changing with the introduction of AI, and all big businesses are starting to use this. People are using it for, you know, telling AI what's in their refrigerator, to know what meals they can make, all the way to writing blog posts and doing a lot of different things. So we're going to be breaking down how you guys, as busy entrepreneur, business owner, marketers, can start using this for your business and leveraging the power of AI. So we all know like AI is basically machines performing tasks with human intelligence, such as perception, reasoning, learning, and decision making. And digital marketing is the use of digital channels like social search engines, email websites to promote your products and services. And today we're going to be using talking about the superpower. And here's the here's what I want you guys to hear. This can be done by anybody. So don't disqualify yourself and say, well, I'm not a marketer or I'm not tech savvy and I'm not good at this kind of stuff. Don't give yourself that excuse. You guys are marketers, so you already own that marketing space. But when you're listening to this today, I don't want you to give yourself an out to say, well, I can't do this because dot, dot, dot. Because the truth is you can do it and you should be doing it. But what are the benefits of using AI for marketing? Well, the first one is it is high speed content creation. Have you guys put stuff in chat GPT and seen like how fast it spits something out? It's kind of crazy. I was at dinner with my family and I, I told my father-in-law, I was like, hey, what, what are some of your favorite things? He's like, well, I like to work on motorcycles um, and I like to eat this kind of food. I was like, great, you want to hear a rap song about you working on motorcycles and, and eating Mexican food? He's like, sure. It's like, hold on, boom. And then it's like verse, chorus, verse, chorus, like full on rap song about him loving motorcycles and eating Mexican food. And it was better than probably anyone could have done. <laughs> right. So it is so fast. The computing power is insane. And so how you can start using this for marketing, how we're, we're going to talk about are things like blog posts, social media posts, websites, funnels, emails. And I'm also going to show you why those things are really important for your business. It's not just noise of stuff to keep yourself busy. It's stuff that's actually going to help you move the needle and get in front of the right people with the right message. Also, some of the benefits of AI is, is you can have it right in a certain tone or personality. So Tina, she might have a, a very professional persona for her brand. So when she does like high-end portrait photography, she might want to come across as very professional because she is the expert and has won lots of awards and wants to come up as professional. Maybe Ed, if he's trying to sell shoes, to athletes, maybe he wants to have a more like fun tone or casual tone and doesn't want to come off as just overly professional. So AI can actually match your persona of your brand with a certain tone. So you can come across sounding as natural or funny or bold or serious or feminine or masculine. AI can do all that. 
So I want to introduce you guys to Jim the plumber. Everyone say hi to Jim. So Jim knows that he wants to be found online and engage with his prospecting customers. He also doesn't have the time to sit down and write social media posts, blog posts, emails, or create sales funnels. And right now he can't even afford to have someone manage all of that marketing for him. So can you guys relate to one or all of those, <laughs> right? Like typical entrepreneur. Okay, so here's, here's a few thing that, things that Jim needs to be doing in marketing. First thing is he knows he needs authority. You guys heard that word when it comes to online presence or digital marketing, is creating authority, like, hey, I'm, I'm the expert here. So if you go into like Rockbox with Marshall, he's gonna be like, hey, I, I am the expert at helping keeping you accountable to hitting your goals, getting in shape, and doing these things. So he knows he needs that authority, and he knows he needs search engine optimization, which we all probably know what that means, right? Just being found online with search. And so one way that Jim can do that is he can start writing blogs. If you guys didn't know this, the more blogs that you produce, it's almost like adding um, library cards in the library before digital. There is the Dewey Decimal System. Anybody remember that back in the day? Kind of dates myself. <laughs> I'll tell you later. Um, but but every time you publish a new blog post, you're actually adding one more page in the internet for it to index so it can later be recalled. And you don't write blogs to try to trick the internet, right? That used to be done back in the day where people would try to do what's called black hat SEO and they would literally try to write, write blogs and do keyword stuffing just for, to trick Google to show up. Now Google's smart. They know, hey, if, if Ed is looking for um, a new running watch, and he searches for like best running watch near me, it's not just gonna pull up websites that have the most amount of keywords stuffed into it. It's gonna pull up the website that has the best content that's the most relevant with the most reviews and have an algorithm that serves Ed the best results possible, not who tricked Google the most. Does that make sense? The whole tricking Google days are over. So he knows he needs to write blogs. He also knows he needs increased visibility. He just wants to be found and seen online. In order to do that, he needs to be posting on social media. He also knows that he wants to showcase his expertise, show that he is the expert in what he does. And that's where he needs to make sure he updates his website to be highlighted as the expert in the plumbing scene. And then finally, he needs to educate and sell, right? At the end of the day, like, there's all these touch points. We know how many touch points it takes. It's been said like 21 or 40 or how many times people need to see your message before they engage and buy. But he needs to be doing consistent email marketing to educate people on what they do and then to sell them. So if someone comes into Ryman and gets acupuncture done, which is amazing by the way, um, if they go in to see him and maybe they came in for a first visit and someone wasn't ready to buy yet, do you guys think it would be important for Ryman to have a good follow-up sequence to educate people on the benefits of acupuncture and then try to push them to buy a membership or a pack to come back in and do it again? Do you guys think that'd be important? So that, yes. <laughs> so email marketing is so important. And, and Tina does a great job at this too, right? So whenever someone is expressing interest in your product or service and they're not ready to buy right then, you don't just toss them off to the side and move on. If there is interest being shown, your job is to educate and nurture them. And when they're ready, you're gonna to be top of minds, right? Because you didn't forget about them and you always showed up in the inbox with something that's enlightening and educational. That doesn't mean every email I get from Ryman needs to be like, hey Brad, are you ready by now? Hey Brad, are you ready by now? Hey Brad, are you ready by now? But that does mean if he shows up in my inbox and he said, Here's the five things you need to know about acupuncture that can help you in hitting your goals, like with your training regimen or with your whatever goal, goal you're trying to hit. And he's making me more aware and enlightened about the benefits of his product or service. And then the buy should always be a PS, meaning, hey, by the way, if you're ready to come in, here's how you can do that. But we always want to educate first and enlighten people and then give them the option to pull that trigger when they're ready. Okay. What's the one thing we're missing here for Jim? Oh my gosh, he's got to run his business? He also has to run his business while he's trying to think of all these things. Can you guys relate? Yeah. 
yeah, like, oh my gosh, I have to post on social and write blogs and I probably need to update my website. And oh my, I haven't sent out an email marketing piece in a while. And then all the other 93,000 things that he has to think about for running his business, being on call, going from spot to spot, right? And that's really where his time needs to be. And guys, this is why over 60% of businesses fail. It's not because they don't have a great product or service. It's because they don't have a great plan to market and get their message out there in a clear way. Because this whirlwind down here to run his business, if he just does that, do you think he's just going to automatically grow his business? He's going to get some referrals and he might stay afloat, but he's going to drive himself to the ground. And it's not because he's doing a bad job. It's because no one knows he exists. He hasn't spent any, any time doing on this because he can't. He's not marketing at all. That's right. Because you're just busy running your business. You're never going to grow. Yeah. And eventually you will go out of business. That's right. That's right. So that's an unfortunate, sad truth. But we don't want Jim to go out of business, do we? We need Jim to be healthy and alive and keep serving people. So how can Jim get all this done on a budget and with limited time? What do you guys think the answer is? That's right, AI, and specifically content AI. Because we could talk about all the different types of AI forever. Like Tina and I were just talking about how she's used AI to write a blog and, and used like an image AI tool to generate images. And the future of it's just absolutely nuts what's possible. But for today, we're just gonna be talking about creating content, not creating videos and photos and all the other wild things you can do. Is that fair? All right. So the truth is smaller businesses using content AI tools actually spend less on digital marketing overall. That means less on their actual ad spend and less on who they're paying or what they're paying tool wise and people wise to get that done. So that's where like the budget and the time come into play when you start to leverage AI. So we're gonna go through each of those types real quick just to show you an example of one, why each of those things I mentioned are important and just examples of what those look like and then at the very end of this too, I'm gonna to show you guys just some ways that you can start using this for your business and start creating more time and staying on a budget. Does that sound good? So why blogs are important, we kind of talked about earlier. One, it positions you as the expert or authority in your category, helps with SEO. It gives you something to link to in your social media and emails, right? So, in, in, and you, you marketing guys, let me know if you agree or not, but when you're sending out like emails or posting on social, Sometimes you've got more you want to share, but you don't want to just word vomit all on like one social post or all on one email. So the question is, well, where do you take them to? Do you just drop them on your website and say, read more if you can find it? <laughs> right? No, the answer is you want to take them to a blog post so you can explain more in detail because once they go from social media to blog, then they can read more about it in greater detail. They're in your website. And you can put a call to action at the end of that blog. So if someone reads a blog on Tina for like pet portraits, said, hey, if, if you have a pet that just passed and was very special to you, did you know you can commemorate that with a beautiful pet portrait that will really capture the essence of what that pet meant for you? Click here to read more about my process for creating beautiful pet portraits. <laughs> Done with AI. So, so someone clicks on that and then they can read her blog post that has images in it, people are on her website, and at the end of, the, end of that, what is she gonna do? She's gonna call into action to say, hey, if you're ready for a beautiful pet portrait, here's where you can book time with me. Or maybe it's less direct and say, hey, if you'd like to get these blogs sent directly to your inbox, leave me your email. And boom, she's just collected an email, right? So that should be our process of thinking, how we use blog posts. And this actually was a blog post I did. I created last night through AI. I know nothing about plumbing. Is that surprising <laughs> to anybody? And so well, you can confirm, yes. So all I wrote was like, hey, what are five ways you can prevent leaks? That's the only input I gave AI. What are five ways to prevent leaks? This is the output that AI delivered. It gave me an intro, an outro, five specific ways to prevent leaks with details under each one. All I typed in was five ways to prevent leaks. So think about that for your business. If Ed was to go in and say, what are the uh, 10 things to look for in a good pair of shoes if I'm training for a marathon? 
he's going to literally get intro, outro, list of 10 things. He can go in and modify it a little bit. And that'd be a great blog post. And so if, if Ed was in charge of marketing and the owner, owner Mark said, hey, Ed, I need you to, to do a, a social post today, right? You could say, you could literally go to AI and create something like this. And we'll get to social in a minute too, but it could say, hey, click here to read the 10 best types of shoes for training for a marathon. Boom, click it in the blog and you spent maybe 10 minutes. That's right. Yes. Let us know how that goes. So, so super powerful because you could literally sit down in one night and create, I mean, how many blogs could you guys crank out in a night? A few dedicated hours, you could have months worth of great blog content that you have scheduled out that you never have to touch again, right? If you, if you think about it, your business in time of quarters, spend a couple hours, you have a full quarter of blog posts for your business pre-scheduled out to launch once a month or once a week and you're done. The next is AI website content, right? So the website highlights the problem you solve, positions you as the expert, calls your dream customer to action, and it's important the quality of inputs will determine the quality of outputs you get for your site, right? So this is where AI can be dangerous. If you put in, if you put in bad, you're gonna get bad, right? Just like the food we put in our mouths, all those things that we do. If you put in like not good terms on AI, you can't expect a full magic trick. But if you say, write a compelling headline for a local plumber, you're gonna get something pretty decent. So again, this was all done last night on a template and I, we just put in like AI terms and did this in about 15 minutes, learning from nothing. So we've got plumbing problem. For all your plumbing needs, we've got you covered. Stop searching for plumbing help. Our local experts are here to save the day. Get fast, reliable service and peace of mind knowing your plumbing needs are in good hands. Schedule your appointment today. It's not bad, right? Is that actually, uh, is that real? Oh, AI created that. I said, write me a good sub headline for a local plumber. That's all I put in. It's a stock photo. He's an AI. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's not AI. All the content is. Yeah. So, so whenever you create websites, you know, you either get real photography or you can use stock photos or kind of templates. So this is just kind of showing the power of what you can do in a short amount of time with templates, um, flush your pr plumbing problems away with us, right? Kind of a fun headline, AI created that. Looking for reliable plumbing services in your area, look no further than our local plumbing company with years of experience and a commitment to customer satisfaction. We're the team you can trust for all your plumbing needs. So I won't read through all this, but that's pretty good stuff, right? Like that's probably better than we could create on our own with a cup of coffee and like getting frustrated because what we don't want to do is make the quality of our content be based on like how we feel that day. Otherwise, I don't know about you, but probably wouldn't be great all the time, right? So the good thing about AI is it's always going to create like pretty good quality content based on the inputs we put in. How many of you think your website could use a little bit of, of copy refresh with some better copy? <laughs> yeah. Um, and then social media content. So social media obviously increases visibility, highlights you as the expert, it generates conversations. Ultimately too, it drives people back to your website, right? If Ed does the, the blog post about the best shoes to wear, you know, we wanna drive people back somewhere. We don't wanna just keep them there where they say, oh, that was a good post, Ed, cool. Here's my like button. The goal is to get them to your website to give you their information because social media is just rented land. An algorithm could change and all that goes away. So if you're building your whole business on social media, meaning like, oh man, if I just get enough likes and people and followers so I can post to, that could all change at any time and it has before and it will again. And this is just me on my soapbox for a second. So make sure if you're doing social, the goal is always to drive them to something you own, not that you rent. Drive them to your website, right? So like Marsha and Tina that are doing ads, like the goal of Facebook ads for them is they will be on video talking about their product or service, giving a compelling reason for that person to give them their email and get off of social media to say, hey, if you're interested in learning more about um, a headshot session with us, then give me your information. I'll show you how it works. Or if you're interested in coming to a first free boxing class or group class, give me your information. I'll tell you all about it. So when they put in that information, boom, now they have name, email, phone number. 
that Mark Zuckerberg does not own anymore, now they own it and they can contact those people outside of social. Does that make sense? Okay, I just had to throw that out there because there's so many people that think marketing is only social media and they've built their whole businesses on just social media. Just remember, it's rented land. It can all go away tomorrow. Okay, so again, I know nothing about plumbing. This is the social post it created. Plumbing leaks can cause significant damage in your home. Here are five simple ways to prevent them from happening. Link, hashtags. We're driving curiosity for people to take action. Why do I need to click this? I wanna know what those five things are so I can prevent leaks. That's how you go from social media to blog. And then finally, AI emails. So same thing. This is a, just a simple email marketing template. This is a real guy, Ed, but I don't know who he is. <laughs> <laughs> so a good email highlights your offer, generates sales, positions you as, as the expert, drives traffic to your website. We've got you covered. Expert plumbers near you. Are you tired of dealing with leaky faucets and clogged drains? It literally, I couldn't screenshot all this, but it wrote me like three paragraphs of amazing content for an email for a plumber if I was pretending to be a plumber. So just last night I did all this. Again, I picked an area I, I knew nothing about and I, I created a website a blog, an email, and a social post, and something that looks legit and looks real, and it wasn't hard. All I had to do is know what profession I'm in and how many things it needed to give me to solve a problem, and all this got put back. So you guys knowing infinitely more than I do about plumbing about your business, imagine if you use that power, like what inputs you could give AI to get the right outputs back how much better would that make your website and your social and your blogs? And it's kind of a humbling experience, right? Because you'll go in there being like, well, I am the expert. I know so much about this, but I think you will be surprised when you see the, the output you get back. And I do, wanna, I do wanna acknowledge too, that it is important to go back and read through it, make corrections, add your flavor to it, make it your own, right? Because what you don't wanna do is just rely on just the robots to only write your stuff. So be smart. Like, don't do what I did and just post it. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's right. Have any of you guys, besides Tina, I know Tina's used AI a lot for blogs. Has anyone else used AI for any of these before? Yeah, it's fast. It was neat too, like what, what Marshall was saying, was that with chatbot GPT? Yeah. yeah. So you, you can go back and ask it questions or ask it to modify what it just produced. So if it produces a really long thing and you can say, make this a little bit more funny and use the word awesome, it'll say, okay. And then boom, it'll rewrite the whole thing, make it more funny and have the word awesome in it. So it's a, it's a pretty smart, organic experience. Anybody else? Yeah, pretty impressive. Yeah. And we're going to get to the point too, and we might already be there, where, where we don't even know what's written by human and what's what written by a robot. They were about kids at school oh, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, it's going to become a thing. I mean, I think it already has for that. 67% um, of all small businesses are using AI assisted landing pages or websites as one of the ways they're attracting more customers. This is just good to know. like. This isn't something that is not tested or not being used. This is actually being used a lot right now. So this is a great time to, to start experimenting with it because it's not going away. I think we're too far 
I know there's like a bunch of petitions of people trying to get it to disappear forever because they're afraid it's going to end the world, but I don't think it's going away. I think, I think it is so integrated and everyone is using it so much that it's going to be here to stay. Uh huh. Yeah, the good news is it it is so organic, meaning it's always going to produce kind of different sounding content. And it's going to be just like when anything new comes out, there's a lot of people scared like, hey, this is going to take my job or this is going to ruin all these things. I think it's just a matter of being kind of like machine operators and knowing the strategy, how to use it correctly. So like when people come in for us, like for a, like a full day VIP experience, like we might use some of that, but we've got our awesome copywriter, John over here that knows all the right inputs and then knows how to edit it after the inputs to make it work well. So I think that the key human piece in all this is just strategy. And I think marketers over here in the corner might agree too. It's like, you can't outsource robotic strategy, right? Like, cause you need to know, oh, I need to do this amount of blog posts and this amount of social posts with these kind of topics in mind. And that's where, that's where strategy becomes a lot more human and important. And then this just becomes one of the tools you use to fill, fill those things. But great question. Yeah, that's good. Um, yeah, we, we kind of already went over this. Over half of small businesses report that limited budget is their biggest obstacle in marketing. Guys, marketing is expensive, right? It's so expensive. Because you, you have to pay, like usually Google or Facebook, and you normally have to pay a marketing agency. Um, and then you have to have all the tools and that can become one of your biggest line items after your like rent and people, it's usually marketing. And the truth is you should be paying a lot for marketing, but only if you're getting a good return and you can calculate it. But a lot of us small business owners, we can't stroke that check every month to pay for a question mark. Like, I'm not sure what's going to come out of this. And so that's, that's why you guys are here and I'm here to help you to show you how to leverage some of this, where you can start to do some of it yourself and just figure out where you want to spend your marketing dollars. Um, yeah, small business indicate they face difficulties due to limited time, budget, and staffing. We all agree. Um, mo more than half of businesses surveyed reporting budgeting as their biggest challenge for digital marketing. And so the truth here is AI tools can significantly save costs, enhance the effectiveness of marketing, leading to considerable long-term savings. So in today's world, small businesses, just like you guys and me, all of us, um, we're leveraging and adopting AI to take back control. So I want to empower you guys and challenge you guys to start trying to use this for those areas that we talked about. You know, and I think, I think some great spots to do this, like we just talked about, just to make it uncomplicated, are these four areas. Think about blogs, social media, websites or funnels. If you don't know the difference between those two, come talk to me later. Um, and, and email marketing, because those are four areas that you need to be active in as a business. Those are kind of like you're, you're on the playing field. If you're neglecting one of these, these are kind of like the four wheels on your car. Like you need to be doing all these at some level. That doesn't need, mean you need to be doing it like all the time every day, but you need to have some sort of strategy that involves those four things in your business. Yeah, I work for small business, I mean, it's a tiny business, one store. And I can't even tell you what marketing we're doing right now, other than a lot of times me. I, I consider myself one of our marketing people mm -hmm. because I have cards with me all the time and I hand out a, 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 a yeah. discount card. I see you every Saturday at Park Run. Yeah, and I'm, I'm handing stuff out, mm -hmm. but I don't need one person mm -hmm. And I'm getting paid for doing this, but I don't, I, Mark should be here and not me. Let's go grab him. <laughs> it's two minutes away, you got your running shoes on. See this brace right there? Yeah. I think I can't grow my kids down from 14 years away from home. Yeah. I think. Yeah. But, but that's. But that, that's a good epiphany moment. I think you guys need to kind of do a self-evaluation, say what of these four things am I not doing? And what action do you need to take to start doing them for yourself? How do you? Mm -hmm. I mean, stuff on Facebook, put a sheet there or something like that. It's a new sheet. Yeah. 
So I would say the goal should be to get them back to a landing page so they can give you an email address to get a discount on their next pair of shoes they buy from you because now you've collected an asset, that's their name, email, phone number, for something of value. And then you can follow up with them, have a nurturing sequence, but a like has no monetary value. The new digital currency is email. If you can collect an email, you can start nurturing. What's that? That's right, that's right, yeah. What do you think is, is Mark's, I know Mark has talked to you, and you've talked to him, and mm -hmm. he's talked to me about, me too talking. What do you think his, his the love triangle is to, to this? Yeah, good question. I, I don't know if, if we've talked specifically about this, but maybe we can set up a, a good three-way meeting and discuss. I, I got to think of probably Mark. And he thinks he's just, he's a small business, and mm -hmm. he doesn't have the, the marketing budget. Yeah, it's okay. We can we can talk after this. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Has anyone else um, tried any of these areas with AI? Spent some time. Okay. Yeah. Tell me about your stories. What you're doing. And and Madison has a quick little the talk box behind you. Um. I haven't used it that long, but just on basically some social media posts and blogs, and it's decreased the time to sit there and think, am I doing this right? Is it coming out right? Am I talking the way I should be talking? And it's decreased the time that I spend doing it. That's good. So it saved you a bunch of time. And it felt like it came out your language still? Yes. That's something you would write? Yes. Very good. Yeah, mine is similar. I've done all four, actually. I've started just saying like my time is worth money and if it can speed me up in any of these areas that's a good thing because I'm one that will sit and obsess and really want it to be just so and it has to be my voice and it has to be my thoughts but I don't know what my thoughts are <laughs> and so I can just have a fragment of a thought throw it in there and and let it elaborate and it's much faster that's good anybody else have any stories to share on AI and how they've used it With regard to using it for, what do you say, website and funnels, mm -hmm. that, are you thinking more just like, um, like content for that? Mm -hmm. Or, okay. Yeah, just content, okay. not design yet. Yeah. Um, so the big question is like, how can you start using this? Because mm -hmm. if, if you guys all walk away from here, from here and don't want to use AI, then I have completely failed you and for you guys to even be in here. Right, like I at least want you to walk away inspired and challenged a little bit that you can start using AI for your business. And so we, how many of you guys have used Chatbot GPT? Just show of hands. Man, that's wild. Keep your hands up for just a second. I just want to see. Yeah, so so more than half the room, probably like ninety percent, have used it, which is which is amazing. So now we just have to use it for those things we put up here, right? It's a very. I don't know what that is. <laughs> stick, stick, stick around later. I'll tell you. So, oh, so Chatbot GPT is kind of the the open AI, the first one that kind of came out. It's got a lot of backing by Microsoft, um, but that's just a free open source program. It's kind of like a Google that you can just type in something, get a result. That's that's the biggest one that's been growing. Um, so any any other tools that you guys would recommend other than chatbot GPT has anyone stumbled up upon one similar or something that they really like they want to share what's it called Dally okay okay Mm -hmm. And I think there is a learning curve to figure out what is the right thing to put in the answer. Very smart. If you don't ask the right question, don't expect a good answer. So it's D A L L D A L L E E N E N. Yeah. And we'll make sure you're on our school community. And I would love for you to even post on there so you can actually post things that you share so you can maybe post up kind of that list for people. That'd be a great gift you could give to everybody here. It'd be awesome. Very cool. Anyone else have any quick stories on how they've used AI for the business? Yes. Um, I forgot which exact website, but you may help some folks. 
Um, so one of this website is if you want to market to other businesses, you could um, this AI generating um, content of um, you target. So if you want to call some companies, actually physically reach out and do your own like telemarketing. You could put the industry you want to select and it will give you all your local businesses. Like for example, hotels, I'll pull up all the hotels, their phone number, their address and their emails of like the folks like in HR or management, um, that you could reach out to. And it's an amazing tool. You could really empower your business. That's cool. That's cool. I just forgot you'll, what you you'll have to post that up in school too. This will get everyone a reason to join the school. We can yeah. start a conversation there. That's awesome. Um, well, since you guys are here, I wanted to introduce you real quick too. So we, we do have a tool called Genie Rocket and I'm excited to announce today we actually have it integrated with AI. And I'm just gonna quickly show you what that looks like. So if you don't already have a good tool to do blogging and emailing and social scheduling and website and funnel building, this one actually does all of that and has AI powered. And all the examples I showed you were actually built on this tool in just like that 30 to 45 minutes. Um, some of you, and you raise your hand if you have Genie Rocket in here now. Got a few. Awesome. So the good news is you have that enabled. Now you can start using with AI. That's pretty powerful. And the neat part about it is, so you, you can create your own pages with ease. So we've got like a drag and drop page build builder. Um, that is fantastic. If you're stumbling with a uh, writer's block, you can overcome that with a smart copy to really just quickly create copy for your different elements. Um, boost your results with just one click. So we have smart AB testing. So if you're sending out emails, this is so cool. You can literally, like the email that I showed you up here earlier, actually created on that tool with uh, the guy that's real, but I do not know, Ed. Uh, you can send out both emails and say the one that gets the highest open rate is the one that's going to be selected to send to the rest of your list. Pri all the privacy stuff. It does an okay job. Nothing's going to be perfect, but I think if there's a high majority of opens, then at least you know this one's at least getting some sort of activity that's greater than this one. So that's where you can actually depend on not what's in our own brains, right? If, if we're like, well, Marshall thinks this looks good and Marshall thinks this one doesn't look good, so we're only gonna send this one, he could be wrong. <laughs> Case in point. Um, but and, and just to be real honest, so like Tina, this is a great example. When Tina came in for a rocket fuel retreat, um, we did a video for her and she's like, I really don't like that video. I want to do it again. And she came back and shot one that we all thought was like, man, that one was so good. And we got like B roll cause she did a whole like session with our team. Um, that's awesome. Like there's some really fun shots. We're, we're all like tattooed and creative and quirky. So she was able to capture all that. And, um, we're like, man, this video is going to be awesome. Like it's totally going to win on Facebook ads. And were we right? <laughs> people are like, oh, no, I saw the one with the brown background and the black shirt. I really liked it. And I'm like, oh, wow. It's really fine. But apparently, it feels kind of like and it was resonating with people, and they're clicking and they're giving me their information just based on my talking head. And they're like, oh, I really like that. Yeah. Like, oh, that was really good. Yeah. Um, so, so we don't always know what's in our brains. Yeah. So we don't always know what's going to attract the right people. We could all sit in the room, think we're the smartest people in the room, make decisions based on our thoughts and feelings and be so far off. If you guys have ever done any marketing that's failed, I've done a lot, and, and we've all sat in the room and high-fived, after we got done with the whiteboard session, you'd be like, oh man, this is gonna kill it. This is gonna be so good. And then nothing. And then I, I don't know if you guys have done this before, but I had like a last minute idea, and you just got it out of your head. It was kind of like rushed, it wasn't perfect, but the message was right, and it worked, and it got you results. Like, and those are awesome moments, but there's, there's no predictors of success. So the cool thing is with like A-B testing, you can have like even multiple versions of your website to say, hey, maybe I want to try this headline and then this headline and let's see which one gets the most amount of conversions and then declare this one as the winner so everyone sees it. Otherwise, we're left with like, man, why isn't anyone buying my stuff or downloading my thing? Like, I don't know. And we just change it and then put it back out in the world. Change it, put it back out in the world instead of... Let's test it. Let's see which one wins. That's a lot smarter approach. Wouldn't you guys agree? Did you have a question?
right. Yeah. Data always wins. Yes. It's so smart. And we're, we're all emotional people, right? So sometimes we forget that what we're creating is not for ourselves, right? It doesn't matter what Tina likes. It doesn't matter what Marshall likes. It doesn't matter what Ed likes, you know, it doesn't matter what Ryman likes. Ryman plays in an awesome rock band, right? But that doesn't mean all of his, his uh, acupuncture stuff is going to be like rock band themed because Marshall likes rock bands. I didn't mean to use a voice. You don't talk like that, you know. <laughs> but I think we have to remember what our customer wants, what they're looking for, what problem we're solving for them. It's not about us. No one cares. It's all about them, right? So Ed could, Ed could be like trying to sell this perfect shoe that he's trying to give into them. Like, hey, this is the perfect shoe, but it might not be what they're looking for. He needs to figure out like, what is it that you're looking for? And so with A-B testing, I'm sorry I got on my soapbox on that, but I think that's so important because we spend so much time creating the perfect thing and then we get it out there and it fails and then we curse marketing and say marketing doesn't work. We all done that? Yeah. We've done it. Yeah. Um, this is brand new. So guys on Genie Rocket, this is brand new. We just turned this on yesterday. We have hundreds of pre-designed templates now in your account for emails and for funnels. And you can even sort by industry. So that the website I showed you, the plumbing guy that I did last night in 10 minutes, I literally went here and typed in like home services, grabbed the template, already had the stock photo, already had the colors, and then just filled in the blanks. Um, so that's one of the things that we have with Genie Rocket is hundreds of landing page email and marketing designs, which is a huge help. Because if you're starting on a whiteboard or from zero, it can be a lot of work. So now you get to have a, a great place to start. And then this is the coolest part is the, the content AI. So you can create content for blogs, social, email, and landing pages directly inside all those areas. So if you're trying to write an email or you're trying to build a landing page or you're trying to schedule and post on social, you can push a little robot head button. That's kind of like your SOS button. Like I need copy help. And you just put in your inputs there and say, write a headline for my shoe business, write a headline for my boxing business or for portraits. And you can say, I want five options and it's going to give you five wildly different options to choose from. And you just do click, click done. And it's on your website or on your blog or on your social or on your email. And you can choose the tone, that's right. So say I want it to be friendly or funny or serious or bold or feminine or masculine, you have that option and it will write it in that tone of voice, which is pretty stinking cool. Less work for you guys, right? Like you don't have to think about design, you don't have to think about copy, you just have to think about like the quality of inputs to get a good output. Um, so the neat thing on this tool too, just to kind of wrap us up here is it, I won't go into all of this, but the Genie Rocket tool is an all-in-one sales and marketing platform, and we've been on it as Genie Rocket, so we're built on like a bigger platform. We didn't create this ourselves, but we've grown on top of it, and we're partnered with them, and these guys are nuts. All the stuff that they're launching and building that we get to give to you guys is insane. So social media scheduling, email marketing, blogging, funnels websites full sales CRM, two-way texting, reputation management, like you can do calls from here. You can pretty much run your whole business from this one tool without having to have 15 different tools duct taped together with a really expensive bill every month that I've done that. I used to spend two to $3,000 a month on stupid tools. But, but you did too, right? You had several tools. Maintaining that in like seven different places was not very well. Um, and expensive. And so I, I moved on to this in December, and I was like, oh my God, what can I do first? I automate a lot of things. So that's probably my favorite thing is it's not even really there, but it's the workflow automations and how we can set things up to just kind of happen based on different triggers and different activities. Um, I use it for everything now. Pretty much. Tina. Uh, oh. Sorry, but it's oh. Yeah, so Tina made a crazy thing. So have you guys ever heard of Zapier before? Like the Zap tool? If any of you guys are in half tech-ish stuff, you've heard of it. Um, Tina made a crazy Zap that we actually use now. I used it today at a networking event. 
Yes, but it's awesome. So she made one where she actually at networking events, because we go to a lot of them together, she can take a picture of someone's business card and it reads all the information on just like a free business card scanner, automatically zaps it into Genie Rocket. We'll send them a text message that's personalized. So it actually, oh, I'm sorry. I have mine set of different. Sends you a text message and then you can click a button to decide what you want to do with that information to say, like invite them to a meeting or do nothing or send them a breakup letter. I don't send breakup letters. So <laughs> I just say, don't do anything. Just let the swarm be. Yeah, but but pretty amazing. So if you don't already have a tool that you're using and you're in love with, then this is a really great one to partner with. And again, we use it every day as as a team. Like this is the tool that we use for texting, emailing, building all the funnels, everything we're doing. It's a great tool. Um, here's the deal too. I'm just gonna throw this up as an offer and then we'll go to the next stuff just so you can kind of see um, what we're doing. So unfortunately, I've got some bad news for you. And that bad news is starting tomorrow, our price is going up pretty significantly because we're adding like the amount of support and stuff that we're doing is insane. And uh, the value that we're giving is so high. So today you can get this for 249 bucks and it is a monthly subscription. Um, that includes all this, and I'll show you where you can get that if you're interested. Um, but starting tomorrow, that's going up to 497 a month with everything included with templates and AI and all these tools, which honestly is still a deal because all these things combined equals uh, $6,972 a month. If you try to piece out everything that we're giving you at once, it's a huge deal. So I just wanted to throw that up there, yep. Unlimited users. Unlimited users? Yep. So you can have like a whole my staff list and they can all have their own login. I don't recommend them. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can actually like limit what every user sees. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, we could, we could make a lot more money off it, but we choose not to. Uh, yeah, and, and we just have like some brand new support stuff on there too. So if you guys are interested in this, if you don't already have a good tool for like email marketing, social scheduling, blogging, all the things we talked about, plus AI, and you want this, you can get it for 249 bucks. Again, tomorrow it goes up to 497, but that's where you can actually scan and get it. Um, and that, if you, I'm telling you, if you go to that QR code tomorrow, it's gonna be a different price, so I warned you. Um, <laughs> You're probably finding that you're struggling to do a lot of these things. So it, I feel it's worth every penny because you need to use it. And it makes it much, much easier. And it's all in one place. Yeah. For the lifesaver. So how does this um, how does this intertwine with what I already have? Like if I wanted to take, you know, my CRM, my constant founder, all mm -hmm. of these things, do I have to start from scratch? Um, so if you already have like a CRM, like a constant contact or a MailChimp or a HubSpot or a pipe drive or a insert blank here, you can usually export all those into a CSV file and you can just import it back into Genie Rocket. Yeah. I mean, I took it in chunks, and I, I, I needed the contacts in because I wanted to start managing my conversation. So I did that first, but that was pretty fast, actually. Um, and then after that, you know, I would like, take your low hanging fruit. Like, I built some automations first to make my life a little easier. Networking contacts was the first thing I did because it was killing me. Um, so yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, and if you guys sign up, you do get like a one hour, one on one onboarding session with our onboarding specialist to make sure you get everything integrated. And we do have awesome live chat support. So when you're on the app and you get stuck, we have a spot that you can actually go like get help, full help library. And every single Friday, our whole team of coaches are available and we've got some neat stuff where we're like doing stuff like this to help train you guys up. So it's not like a normal, just transactional software relationship. And I think like Tina and Marshall, um, you, you guys can attest to like how we've helped you guys. I think it's, it's a lot more of a deeper relationship to helping you grow. Um, and so that's kind of the value add. We also do, and then we're about to end here guys. So thanks for hanging tight. Um, we do something called the Rocket Fuel Retreat. I just wanna make you guys aware of. 
Um, if you are interested in getting some of this done for you, we do kind of a one day intensive and we actually shoot your videos, build your funnel, create all your nurturing follow-up workflows, set you up on a Facebook lead format. This is the same thing that's getting Tina leads in every single day. Um, and it works amazing. I won't go through all the details, but if you want to stay after, if you're interested in that, we do about two to three of these a week and you get to spend the whole day with me and my team. And we just focus on your business and helping you figure out all this stuff so you can start getting leads in. Um, so here's a couple announcements. Yeah. So BAM, this is called BAM, be a marketer. We're going to start doing this more frequently. Um, I'm going to give you this calendar in a second. Content AI, if you already have Genie Rocket, it is now live. Design templates, Genie Rocket, all live, so you can access all those design templates. Um, we only have two days left in April for Rocket Fuel Retreats. So if anyone is interested in talking about a Rocket Fuel Retreat, we only have two days left to schedule those. And we have a big special announcement launch we're doing on May 5th. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> I suspect that's you. <laughs> and then um, if you do have your calendars out, the next one of these that we're doing um, is on April 21st. So if you enjoyed this and you want to come back and continue learning marketing things and connecting with other like-minded entrepreneurs, our next one is April 21st. Wherever you see the CQFs, that's not a code. That is for people already on Genie Rocket. It's called the Cosmic Quick Fix. So if you're on Genie Rocket, this is where we have open office hours online where people can come in and get help and we show them how to use the tool, how to get support. And oh yeah, our two available Rocket Fuel Retreat Dates we have are the 26th, 27th, and then May 5th, we have our big launch. I think, oh my gosh, that is the Brad last Brad will not be here on April 21st, so the kids of Genie Rocket will be uh, yes. promoting it. Yes, you guys, <laughs> It'll yep. be going rogue, yeah. I'll be in uh, Washington, D.C. on my son's field trip. Yeah, They're so. going for a full week to Washington, D.C., and my wife signed me up to be a chaperone, so... So it'll, it'll be us three. We'll see what we do. But. It'll, it'll be super fun. Okay, so before we end, are there any questions you guys have about just in general AI or content things or any questions at all that, that you have that weren't answered? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. Host your website. Nope. So it has its own, it's almost, it's almost like a click funnels type tool. So it's built in the system. So you can, you can actually link your domains up there. You can have unlimited domains, unlimited funnels, unlimited websites. So you actually build it in the tool. Um, and all of our stuff, like if you've ever seen any of our websites or landing pages, they're all in the tool. Like you can make some pretty nice looking ones. Um, so we give you, we give you all the templates so you can do it or you spend a day with us in a rocket fuel retreat and Madison, our amazing designer, creates one from scratch for you. <laughs> um, I'll, I'll, if you want to stay after, I can tell you about some pricing and how that works. Mark, Zuck Mark Zuckerberg. <laughs> so, so it's just like if you were to build a website on any platform, um, I mean, you, it's all your material, it's all your stuff. If you cancel Genie Rocket, like, you can't like physically put that anywhere else. It's like hosted and built on that platform. Oh, okay. um, just like most any, any software as a, as a service. You actually don't sell much, but I like it. There's also a mobile app. I mean, it's not like, it's not everything that you can do in Genie Rocket, but it's enough that like if you're on the go, you can see your conversations, you can see your funnels, you can chat with people, you can call on them. Um, so that was a limitation that I was really frustrated with with some of my previous platforms. So, yeah. And then we never talked about that. Yeah, we have a great mobile app for, for <laughs> Apple and for Android. We're very, you know, inclusive of everybody. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yep, you can export leads. Yep, yep, it's an amazing system. We're, um, the, the company that we're built on top of is actually hiring all the sales for people that got laid off. They have over, um, I want to say now it's like close to a million businesses using it. Like it is a, a big growing platform with lots of support. And the neat thing is too, they keep adding to it and it's all really good stuff. Um, so you get to inherit all that stuff. So let's do this. Um, if you guys want to stick around, if anyone wants just like a quick demo, just to see kind of the actual tool itself, I'm gonna stick around and just kind of walk you through some of the screens, what it looks like, how it works. Um, if you don't want to see that, that is completely fine. You guys can get a coffee, get some juice junkies and 
enjoy your Good Friday. Today's the day uh, Christ our Lord was nailed on the cross. This is the Good Good Friday, so I hope you guys have good Easter plans. Um, but if you if you want to stick around, we'll do a demo. If you guys want to jet, you're free to leave. And I want to thank you guys all for being here and taking your, your Good Friday here to spend with me. I hope you got some good, valuable AI content. Did you guys get good information today? Was this valuable, yeah. helpful? Awesome. Okay, give yourselves a hand. Thank you guys for being here. So good. Uh, thank you, my team, for supporting. So this is John over here, my the awesome copywriter. Logan behind the computer. Um, that is our video guy, ads guy, and runs all of our live stuff. Madison over here, that's our amazing designer. All these like cool graphics and stuff you see, she whips up. Um, and thank you too for the uh, coffee. So make sure you guys get some coffee and go say hi, hey over here. I just blinked on the name. Gavin. Gavin, Gavin, yes. Make sure to go say hi to Gavin. Thank him for the, for the coffee, so enjoy that. So we'll just do a couple minute break. If you guys wanna get up, grab a snack, grab a drink, use the restroom, and then we'll start doing a quick demo if you guys wanna see the tools. Does that sound good? Um, we'll, we'll keep it open too. If you guys want to stick around online to see a demo, um, we'll be happy to do that. If you need to pop off, you can catch the replay.